Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of God of Ragnarok. In today's video, guys, I'll be testing my damage and healing bill on another berserker. Unfortunately, Hackler, the beard is not going to be the berserker. I'm testing it on. I already tested it on him already. I have the full video on my channel if you guys want to check it out. I'm just using him right now for my intro, guys. <laughs> but yeah. So as I was saying, I'm going to be testing this healing and damage build. I should say damage and healing build. If you haven't seen this build yet, I have it on the channel. Go check it out. I'll leave it in the link in the description. I'll also leave it in the end screen video. That way you guys can check it out. So I'm doing all these challenges, which is the Berserker fight on Give Me No Mercy. And before I start the video, I'll actually show you guys this, you know. Just to show you guys it's legit and no, no fake shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys. With that being said, let me waste no more time. And let me get right into the video. Alright. So as you can see there go to my settings and show you guys go to gameplay the challenge level give me no mercy as you can see right here give me no mercy so let me start this fight and show you guys so we're gonna be fighting another berserker today and the berserker we're gonna be fighting is Archie the Stolid if I pronounce that correctly yeah she's a little tough to fight she moves around a lot that's the thing you know with her I have to catch her when she's stunned and do a lot of damage on her. Get all those runic attacks as you can see there on her. I have to use all the runic attacks as soon as you can see when she moves a lot you can also have a chance of not hitting her as I see there. I immediately get to do a lot of damage here. She moves also with my attack. So when I get the Valorous, Blood Tourist and Region Aftermath active, you know I want to do my weapon or melee attacks on her. That will do a lot of damage as you can see there. Also you get interrupted here. Yeah, so she moves around a lot, guys. She really moves around a lot. And you want to catch her with those melee attacks, you know, when you're close. Because she jumps back and she moves away. I can see that I'm wailing on her right now and doing a lot of damage with the melee attacks. to bring her life very quickly. Fortunately, she moved away and I got to dodge a little bit here. Also, I'll be testing much healing i'm doing so i'm not really blocking too much guys i'm going to be taking a lot of damage so just to show you guys how much healing i'm getting back from it even again i get a chance to hit her man she's stunned on me a lot there yeah. i gotta i give off strength and balance blood too the countdown going down this again here i'm getting a chance yo she's constantly stunning me but yeah you see how much damage i'm taking and also healing back myself Right now I don't have any more rage bar, so I gotta be a little more practical so a little bit. A little better my attacks. Yeah, but you guys see my damage I'm doing. And I'm not really parrying, I'm blocking too much. I'm taking all that damage. Showing you guys this build. How I'm be able to heal myself, you know. Also when you use those buffs, you know what I'm saying? You get a little defense debuff also, so you could take a good bit of damage, you know. And I said before, this, guys, I just did this fight on Give Me No Mercy. Unfortunately, guys, I cannot do it on Give Me God of War because you got to start a new gameplay. But soon enough, I'll have a chance when I get some time and I'll do that challenge with Give Me God of War to see how that if how this build works. So, yeah, guys. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Give it a thumbs up. You could also share this video to your friends after God of War Ragnarok. And you could also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. That's about it guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys take care. Peace.